Spotlight on Tio Lopez Why is he MVP's most valuable boxer for 2023? And why he will clean up the division at Junior Welterweight All right, welcome back to MVP 210. Thank you for joining me today. So today we're getting back to our professional boxing analysis of upcoming fights and potential fights. So let's start off with February 8th. We got Tio Fimo, the takeover Lopez versus Jermaine Ortiz. Uh, it's going to be, uh, you know, Ortiz is a mandatory for uh, Tio Fimo, so he's taking that. But uh, don't take this guy lightly. Ortiz is a very good fighter. It's going to be a challenge uh, for Tio Fimo. But one thing I do like about Tio Fimo Lopez is that he seems to take all the good fights. And what I mean by that, he seems to take all the good challenges. Uh, people that uh, that are even that are like evenly matched with him, like are even at skill level, possibly even like have some some advantages over him. Uh, like you know, like Taylor, you know, he went in Josh Taylor, he went and beat him. You know, he beat uh, you know Loma. So he takes all the challenges, right? And he takes all the you know all the good fighters. So I like him. I picked him to be the fighter of the year last year for me uh, for 2023. And the reason why is because. Not for the many, as many times as he fought, uh, but who he beat and what he brings to the sport. Uh, not just for 2023, but for in the future. So I believe that Teofimo Lopez holds all the cards on probably two or three weight classes. He can move up, he can move down. So there's a lot, many challenges for him. The thing about him, he likes to take the challenge. He doesn't shy away from the challenge like some other fighters there that have belts that really are just you know beating cherry picks uh to boost their name and some of them even were called the fighter of the year for last year which i think is ridiculous because they're not really beating anybody they're just cherry picking but that's okay we'll talk about them here in a minute but tio fimo lopez i think he's gonna win this fight i think it's gonna be a challenging fight uh but i think he's gonna pull it off and it's gonna set up um some fights and some very good fights for the future so there you have it tio fimo lopez is our most valuable boxer for year 2023 please don't forget to like subscribe and recommend my channel and visit our website at www.mbp210.com. Since we're talking about the 140 pounders, we also have Sabril uh, Matias, uh, who has a belt that is kind of being avoided as well. You know, I'm going to talk about that weight class right now. You know, the super lightweights at 140 pounds. You know, we got those four guys. We have Devin Haney, Devin Haney. We have Sabril Matias. We have uh, Teofimo Lopez. Hopefully soon we'll have Pitbull Cruz. And then there's probably going to be a, some kind of a tournament there where they're all going to fight each other to clean up that division uh, for Undisputed. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, when it comes to all those, uh, how I think it should go down is that, um, is, I'm going to tell you right now, Devin Haney is going to try and pick the easier fight of these guys to fight. There really isn't no easy fight. I mean, he may go on Matias, but Matias is, uh, is, uh, is being, is, he's being, uh, uh, you know, they're, they're trying not to fight the guy, right? I mean, they're trying to avoid this guy. Either one of these fighters can beat Devin Haney, right? Uh, and Devin Haney can beat, can, you know, has the skills to beat him too. But I don't think it's going to be uh, in the fashion of, uh, you know, where where it's uh, obvious. I think it's going to be, he's probably going to be given the, the decision. But he'll box. He's a good boxer. It's just that. You know, he's moving up now to the big boys, right? 140 pounds. These guys, you know, they, they pack a punch and they can all beat this guy. He's, you know, even though he's a good, skillful boxer, he seems to lack in defense. I mean, and, and uh, being a skillful boxer, part of it is having good defense, but he lacks that. And it's probably because he lacks power. So he doesn't get very much respect from his opponents. And that's just, that's just straight up. It's not because I don't like the guy. It's just that, you know, I think he's been getting cherry picking and getting, you know, getting these belts. And he's the one I was talking about that's just cherry picking and just trying to build his name. I don't think he's beating anybody decisively. Uh, and he's just not that good. And that's not a knock on the guy. He's just, he's a great boxer. But he has no, doesn't have power, which translate uh, to defense. So guys are walking through his power, able to hit this guy. And I think now he's at the weight class where he's going to feel that power. And it's going to be more obvious now. So... I pick out of the four guys, I pick Teofimo Lopez to clean up that division. Uh, hopefully, if not by this year, by the next year. So we got exciting fights in that weight class. And also guys that are going to be challenging these guys. So we got some good stuff going on in this weight class at 140 pounds. 